everybody. I'm Pilar Archila with Pure Gold. I'm sitting here with two real nice ladies from our community, uh, Miss Bonnie Braswell. Braswell and Miss Tina Clements. Um, they are with the suicide prevention right here in our uh, city in Dublin and Lawrence County. And this is a very serious topic. And I'm going to ask Miss Tina to tell us what exactly is suicide prevention? For the coalition, suicide prevention coalition, for us, it's education about suicide and any type of prevention, any type of positive um, education that we can provide to any of the community uh, at completely free of charge to help people know the warning signs yes. of suicide <laughs> and help to know what to do if you do see those warning signs so we can intervene. All right, and uh, how long, do you know about how long ago we had the coalition here in Lawrence County in Dublin? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the coalition was started in 2010 when there was, um, the economy had dropped and there were uh, a rash in the community, a rash, I guess is how we looked at it, of suicides that um, in the community of people that just, they weren't just your average person that may be seeking mental health services. It was some people that um, were pillars, really, of the community, and we decided to ask them, some other community stakeholders, such as Judge Gillis, he was one of the person, and uh, Dr. Thomas and Denise Forbes and they brought in some other people and began to talk about what the county could do to address prevention and maybe decrease the numbers of suicides in the future. Absolutely. I do know and uh, something that I have known since 2010 is that September is the month that we, um, I guess, observe suicide prevention. Yes, and uh, what kind of things do we do here on uh, the month of September? Um, well, we um, we had a silent walk last year and a butterfly, butterfly release. Um, and it's just a time where the people in the community, both those who have been affected by suicide and for those who are just invested in being a part of their community, they get together um, usually around sunset um, and we have the lights out and it's just a, a really a time for healing when the community can come together and um, just spend that time yes. uh, towards a, a cause such as suicide prevention. Now where, where was it last year? Where, um, it was at Fairview Park Hospital, the walk-in right. track there. So. That's right. Um, is there any um, classes or um, that you guys offer uh, for the community. How do we know about that? How can we uh, know when you are offering those classes? Okay, um, we have QPR, which is question, persuade, and refer. And what that is, is a suicide prevention model that's for, um, to say, the layperson. Uh, a lot of times people think they can't ask that hard question, do you want to kill yourself? But it actually gives that person permission and the tools that they'll need if the person does respond with, yes, I want to kill myself, so that you don't leave that person just yes. hanging there and you know what resources to link them to. Um, we offer it in all the schools, any school that's interested, local churches. Yeah, um, I was going to say that. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. we think <clears throat> about suicide and we imagine an older person, but children yeah. commit suicide too and bullying and you know so in the schools you you have been in there too I guess. Very active. We usually average um, and we serve 10 counties um, but we usually average 7 to 10 um, children who present to us in crisis who are um, either suicidal or they're um, suicidal or homicidal but mainly that they're suicidal because of environmental factors that are going on um, sometimes it's bullying sometimes it's social media so um, through the um, Voices of Hope Suicide Prevention Coalition we try to spread um, 
prevention and get the word out and education so that we never have to receive that call that we've had a child oh, um, goodness, who yes. has killed themselves. Yes. Now, do we have, um, I mean, since the coalition was formed here, um, do we have many calls, uh, I mean, like asking for help or um, how do you handle that? We do have a, Marnie and I both work at the local community mental health center. Yes. So that is the, the number to get in contact um, with anyone that is seeking help for suicide or just wanting some education. Yes. Um, there are a couple of emails that I can give out that if someone is wanting to uh, have some training such as the QPR or mental health first aid because you know suicide prevention is part of mental health and taking good care of yourself so that's some other training that we can bring to the community um, and we not only offer it just to usually when people say schools they think of school teachers we start bus drivers um, constantly oh, yes. the entire day we're doing the training so that all it we can reach everyone in the school cafeteria lunchroom ladies um, the school personnel secretaries whoever yeah. that the school is able to send for that training because usually um, children most most of the time children approach other peers or kids their age and then they go to someone they feel comfortable with and wow. hopefully you can reach and train all of those key players so that they know what to do in that type of situation. Wow. And the, the training, the QPR is only a 60 minute training so we're not talking about yeah. it lasting all Four day. Four days or one week exactly. or anything right. like that. Exactly. And so it's done here locally. We can go to anyone's meeting, yes. we can go mm -hmm. to any church, we can go you know, just give us a notice and we'll, we'll make the plans to do that. Okay. Now, what is um, Purses for Purpose? Um, Purses for a Purpose is one of the ways that we go out and raise funds um, in order to support um, for us to be able to get different resources and have events for our community um, and it's a fundraiser okay. and we had so many wonderful people in the community that um, donated purses, really nice purses um, and we were able to then turn around and sell those purses ah. to make money for our suicide prevention coalition. Now when is that fundraiser uh, do, I mean, it's like a yearly event? Well, we've had our first leg of it, if you would like to say. Um, we mostly try to do or, or hold it around holidays or, or the times when ladies or maybe their partners are looking for gifts for them. Oh. Um, so we're hoping to have it several times during the year. Oh, that's um, good. We just had such a, a wonderful response to it. So even people, if somebody has a purse or purses, they can get in touch with you and just donate them. Yes, ma'am. That is wonderful. I'll tell you what, we're going to take a little short break. Stay with us. Okay. Stay with us also. We'll be right back. Uniform Carousel, Dublin's only one-stop shop for high-quality medical apparel, scrubs, lab coats, and uniforms. Why shop online and pay shipping or go out of town when Uniform Carousel will match any price? Drop in today to see all the latest spring arrivals from all the top brands. Gwen Pittman and her friendly staff are eager to help you. Uniform Carousel is conveniently located at 1908 Bellevue Avenue or give them a call at 478-272-0113. Shop local. Shop Uniform Carousel. Cake Art Studio creates custom wedding cakes, groom's cakes, birthday cakes, cupcakes, and more. Give Beth Kramer a call at 478-275-8508 for all of your custom cake needs. Cake Art Studios creating fabulous cakes just for you. For over 21 years, JT Hanna has provided Dublin and Middle Georgia with quality promotional products and superior service you can count on. JT Hanna specializes in screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We also provide customers with original artwork and logos through our talented in-house design. Our website makes designing and ordering t-shirts easy. You can design, choose from an uploaded template, or upload your own custom logo to easily create a lasting impression. Customers can also create purchase sites to make selling shirts for fundraisers or events easy and stress-free. 
need promotional items for your company or next event, JT Hanna can help. We take pride in delivering the highest quality products, and we take pride in serving you. Try us. I think you'll like us. Contact us today at 478-274-1267 or visit us on the web at jthanna.com. Thank you for staying with us. We're talking about a very serious topic, suicide and suicide prevention. And these wonderful ladies, they are part of our coalition and uh, they have a lot of information that is so important for us. Um, Tina, let's talk about March 2nd. That is the 15th, 15th, 15. <laughs> Um, suicide prevention at the Capitol. That's correct. Um, what's going on on March 2nd? At the Capitol they usually have a day set aside for many things such as there's one for mental health awareness, there's one for substance abuse, um, and as Pilar said there is one that is the 15th anniversary for suicide prevention. It's where you can go to the Capitol, you can actually uh, talk with legislators about more funding and um, you know one of the biggest changes I can think of last year having to do with suicide prevention was the requirement for schools to have a particular curriculum that all of the teachers had to uh, participate in and and would have the same if a child were to come to them and be suicidal there is a a certain process or protocol that they were to follow right. so going up to the capitol and advocating for funding uh, for awareness uh, is always important so um, people from the coalition should be going um, we will be inviting the, whoever wants to come up with us to please do so and you can contact us and we'll put some uh, phone numbers and emails up if someone's interested in going. Yes, that would be that. That is very important. And yes, we need a lot of funding um, in uh, in order to keep going with this wonderful coalition. That's correct. Because <laughs> our the education um, and Marnie will talk about one of the big events that we have every year, and it costs in excess sometimes of ten thousand dollars for us to provide <coughs> that event. So all the funding that we get, we have to raise funds for. Yeah. So. Well, let's talk about that event. Okay. We have, it's a huge youth rally that's coming our way March the 23rd, and it will be held at the DuBose Porter Center. Um, we have 400 youth from Dublin City Schools, West Lawrence Schools, East Lawrence, and Twiggs County School. So like I said Dublin City Schools as well. Yes. And it's just a time to come together and, and there's always an educational piece that yes. that is in place. Um, but this year we're kind of, uh, every year we try to focus on doing something to keep the kids engaged. And yes. this year we're going to have sessions that focus on cyberbullying, on just regular bullying relationships. Um, looking for careers and doing positive things for self-esteem so yeah. um, we're really looking forward to that and that's again March the 23rd. And that is at the DuBose Porter Center? It is. And at what time? Um, we always start around nine o'clock. I oh, also we... need to mention that Communities and School is one of the partners yes. that we yes. have for that event. They all, always help. All right. Now does the students need to register to go there or just anyone can just show up and they register with their school and usually um, it's for the 10th and 11th grade students for this particular um, activity mm -hmm. uh, and so eventually you end up reaching all of the students because we we have it every year around the same time uh -huh. and we try to have it where um, all the schools can uh, participate and uh, just have fun while also learning um, prevention as well exactly and that day the students it's not about competition between the schools yeah. it's about coming together, together. having fun and learning right. uh, Keith Brown which I'm not sure whether 
uh, you know or not, was a graduate from the Dublin, I think he went to West Lawrence, and he's a motivational speaker. And we always have him come back, and he is so energetic, and he keeps the kids involved oh, yeah. um, with music and different mm -hmm. activities. So they, they have a really good time, and they learn while they're doing it. That is yeah. just wonderful. It is that is good. just great. Now, is, is there counseling for families that have lost a loved one? Um, yes, we offer services for children, young adults, and for adults um, at Community Mental Health, uh, Community Service Board of Middle Georgia. Um, and if uh, the person wants to be connected or linked to a private provider, it's really their choice, mm -hmm. um, just so that we can reach that person. Um, we are able to offer um, the um, individual family therapy, um, and also other programs as well that they can get uh, involved in in the community. Mm -hmm. and it's just really what suits their needs and, and what they need at that time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about signs? I always worry about that. Yeah. Um, what kind of things we need to look for our children or the elderly um, when, because I have heard people, you know, I work in the in the courthouse all the time. And I had heard people a lot like, oh, if they don't do this or that, I'm gonna kill myself. Um, I mean, do we take those people seriously? Or I, I also heard like, oh, if they're saying that, they're not gonna kill you know, themselves. Usually people don't say anything. So I mean, when do we take seriously a person? You always take people seriously, um, and that's why the QPR training is so important um, because it it doesn't teach you really to make that decision whether you think somebody's yeah. going to actually kill themselves or not, uh -huh. but you're able to um, link them with the resources they need so that they can get they can get the help they need because maybe they're not serious at that moment, but obviously they need help in some other area, and that may be a cry for help sometimes. Yes. So. All right. Well, we're going to take another short break. Okay. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Glazed and chocolate-covered donuts, cheese straws, brownies, and bonbons, too. Pettifer's pies and pastries made just for you. Wedding cakes, birthday cakes, and cookie trays custom made for your special day. Williamson's Bakery is conveniently located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard in the Oak Shopping Center. Open Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Williamson's Bakery, baking everyday special since 1965. Believe Boutique is all about fashion. We carry a large selection of plus-size stylish, trendy clothing. Whether it's jeans and tees, or picots, tunics, and leggings, you can find it here at Believe Boutique. Stop by today to see all the latest hot, hip, and fun spring arrivals. While here, be sure to check out our latest accessories. We have a large selection of stacks, chokers, handbags, and shoes. We are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Saturdays 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and conveniently located at 1817 Rice Avenue in the Williamsburg Shopping Center directly across from the VA. Believe, Dublin's only plus-size boutique. Bring in a bar of soap for Haiti and receive two dollars off your purchase. Long live the truck built to dig in with load leveling rear air suspension, class exclusive Ram box storage, and the convenience of you connect with an 8.4 inch touchscreen. They're not about to give up any ground. Right now, get a great deal on America's longest lasting pickups. See Dublin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram today at 2054 US 441 in Dublin. Call 272-3500 or 1-800-GO-DODGE. Thank you for staying with us. A uh, very serious, serious topic, suicide. And I have here people that know about <laughs> that. <laughs> um, 
Tina, what is SOS? SOS, as far as suicide prevention, stands for survivors of suicide. And we don't mean people that may have tried to attempt suicide but not completed. We're actually talking about the family that's left behind or the loved ones left behind. Um, here in the Dublin area, about two years ago, we tried to start a survivors of suicide group. Um, we, we have a couple of people, including myself, that went to training to facilitate survivors of suicide. And we always uh, like to have an actual survivor that it's at least been two years out since that person's family member um, passed before they get involved with survivors of suicide. And we didn't have a lot of response from the community, although we do know that there are people there. Yes. Um, some of the family members that I do know do go to a suicide, um, survivors of suicide meeting in Macon. Oh. So there are other uh, coalitions that have meetings nearby that people can go to. But if anyone is interested, if you have a family member um, that you have lost and you're interested in facilitating a group to help people um, that went through the same thing that you did, please just give us a call or send us an email and we'd be glad to uh, connect you with some training. Sherry McGinnis is with SPAN Georgia and Sherry, um, she provides the, can facilitate the survivors of suicide training and she also uh, helps to run the summer camp for survivors of suicide. Uh, they, the family, it's a family program where they actually go to this camp and they are just really wrapped with love and, and they just come together as a family with other families that are struggling through the same thing yeah. and and they learn new skills and new resources and and find out that they're not the only ones that are, are feeling these same pains and, and grieving their loss. Yeah, and also find out that it's not your fault. That's correct. You know, because that's another thing that I think is very important. You know, what if I have done this? What if I have done that? And a lot of times, you know, you cannot do much. But anyway, um, it really has been very informative and I really appreciate you guys accepting my invitation to Thank be here you. today. I really want everybody out there to know that there is help out there. Mm -hmm. And um, also I want all of you to know that the coalition always need um, people that will help um, in every single way, you know, volunteers Absolutely. and also uh, with money. Um, Thank you so much, thank and you. to all of you, thank you so much for watching, and until next time.